Hello everyone, this is AK with AK's Garage, and today, Chevy Equinox, uh-huh. So what we're working on here is a, a water pump. Well, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. As you can see here, you see the tensioner here and the, the uh, engine mount bracket here. So, customer came to me and said, uh, can I change the water pump on this Ecotec uh, Chevy? And uh, when I got over to check it out, to do the job, kind of find out, when I went down in here to that hole there to go put the little, the tool on there to hold the chain, how about the chain is broke on the water pump side? So, uh, so now I broke it down, all that's off, everything in the back is off, the manifold, the catalytic converter, um, engine mount, this engine mount here is off, that's the tensioner, it's the other part of the mount right there. So what I did here to take this apart is, the back motor mount back there, I just loosened that bolt. The bolt here in the front mount, I took that bolt completely out. And then I put my jack down here so I'd be able to uh, hold the uh, engine up. And uh, so we're down. Now I'm down here getting ready to I'm getting ready to pull this crank this crank pulley off. I'm getting ready to take this bolt off to get this off. There's a bunch of little 10 millimeters that's going around. I'm going to pop all those off. I already loosened all of them. So I'm going to go and uh, get all those popped off. And once I get uh, all those popped off and this popped off, then we'll be ready to uh, we'll be ready to uh, pull that cover off. And we already know there's a chain broken in there. But once we get that all off, then we'll be able to go in here and uh, possibly put a whole new chain system in there, get all that redone, and then put it back together. So uh, I'm going to proceed on to getting the pulley off and getting that cover off, and uh, I'll come right back to you. All right, getting ready to pull the cover off. Got the cover here. I'm going to see what it looks like out right there. Get this cover off here. Cover. All right. And let's go down. Let's go down and see what it looks like. Oh, look at that! The chain is all balled up over on the side. Wow. Look at that, man. Wow. Wow. How does that happen? I don't know. Wow. There it is right there. Freaking God over here broke. Look at that. Look at this one right here. This one's broken. It's supposed to be on the back here. Then got like a spring coming out the back of this here. Is it missing a piece? Yeah, they got a... It's a piece here and there's a piece right here that's what's broken on here look at that two broken pieces I don't, I don't feel any more broken pieces there Chain broke. So this piece here broke. But where did this black one come from? Where did this piece come from? It has to be up here somewhere, right? Because 
this one goes over here. Goes like this. And then this black piece here, or this brown piece, this has to go all the way up there. This has to go up there because of that color of this one. So I'm pretty sure that that one there is broke at the top because that's probably where this piece goes. Right at the top where the screw goes in at the top. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I had the valve cover off. Uh, that way I could get these two timed up. So I can get the crank down there timed up with these. That way I can remove this chain, put a new chain in it. You can see that this supposed to be a little plastic piece here on this guide here. It's gone. You can see it, it just popped out of there. And if you look hard enough down in here, you can see that broken piece came off back there. That's the piece that uh, that was found. Uh, these seals here need to be replaced. It's hard as a rock. So I gotta put uh, new seals here. This one's stuck on there. So all this, you know, this piece back here came off. It broke off back there. But this is all hard as a rock. So I gotta take all those off. Here goes one here. So I put new seals on those. Of course, new seals around the valve cover. And there's another piece of the valve cover seal here. Okay. So. Got the cover off, and now I'm gonna move over to getting these here timed. That way I could pull the chain off and put all new guides in there and make it look all pretty again. Yep, you can see one of the marks on this chain right here is probably where. Yep. So I didn't move. You could just squeeze past this. You know, you take these screws out, all the bolts out of the valve cover. Take all the bolts out of the valve cover lift up like this and then come like this and it'll come out right here in this area right here it'll come out right here uh, but other than that the valve cover wasn't too bad it was really hard for it to pop up though it was stuck i mean stuck on it would not move you know i did scratch it a little bit in this little area trying to get it off but it'll be okay right here this is not where it's, i mean this is not sealing in that little spot where i got it at <clears throat> so I don't know what this mess is. You see this? What is that? Maybe that's when it was grinding the um, plastic or something. I don't know. There's a lot of it right here. I don't know what that is. It's a bunch of it. Okay, all right, let's get this timed up. All right, so I need to get these marks lined up. Here's one here, and the other ones on here is like, looks exactly the same. I gotta get this one like around the two o'clock mark, and this other one over here around the 11 o'clock mark. And then the crank needs to be, the little key way down there needs to be up, straight up. So I'm gonna try to get these here lined up. All right, this is the piece that broke initially, I think. This tip here. So that's the bottom bolt that just fell out of there. Just the one here that's supposed to go into this hole. And that broken piece I had goes right there. This is one of the broken pieces here, that one. And then this one, this one is supposed to be on here. That one goes with that one there. to go there and then this one is supposed to go down here something like that see that so this piece here broke this it's a lot of tension that's on the top part of this one and this is probably the this piece here trying to hold that tension you know I bet you it breaks here like this all the time. But anyway, this piece broke, fell down in there. Of 
caught the chain. The chain's broken. And then after I did that, I think it also bumped into this one and broke this. So when the piece fell down, it got lodged into the chain, snapped the chain, and broke this probably at the same time. And then after that, this. Look at that. Straight up carnage, right? Look at that. So that's why I'm going in here. And you know, this, this car still ran pretty smooth without the balancing shafts even running. It was pretty smooth. Um, you did hear a little rattle in the beginning, but uh, uh, it ran pretty smooth. And uh, but it would not it, the temperature kept going up, so that's the main reason why the customer brought it to me, cause the uh, they wanted me to change the water pump, and like I said earlier, once I got into it, I noticed that the little chain was broke on the water pump. So uh, I'm going to proceed on to get all these pieces out and completely remove the water pump, cause I haven't took out the uh, last few bolts to take that water pump out. Take that out. I have a brand new one. I'm gonna install that. Get all the timing back together, new chains, new guides, new tensioners, and everything going in. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then look at this tensioner here. So this is the one for the uh, water pump, right? Well, this one here, it actually, it actually blew the back out right here. This, this right here, it was out was like that. Look, so this how, this is how this one was sitting in there when I went to go take it apart. This one right here was the springs popped out of here, and so I don't know how that happened. Maybe once the piece went in there, it pushed this, the uh, tensioner back so hard that it popped the cap off the back of this. So, but that's how it was in there. So I got to put a new tensioner, of course, new guides, of course, new guides, of course, new guides, new chain, and we're going to... Now, the other chain is still in there. The actual drive chain is still in there and intact. But as you can see, that chain was rubbing into the top of this. But like I said, it's still intact. The car still runs. But we're going to put a new chain in there, time it up, get it all situated, and, uh, and move on from there. Okay. So this is the new one. I just put the seal on there. It's the old one. I got to take this this uh crank right here off this gear let me take this gear off it's an old seal on there the old seal wasn't a problem the problem though was the inside look at that there was no water running through that thing at all and like i said the chain broke off of this side so now i gotta take this part off and then once i get that part off then i install it onto this one which is brand new you can see, you know, this one's all clean. So I get this one on. You know, it looks like it has a different kind of ge uh, little gear in there. Like this one looks like that in the inside. And then the inside of this one doesn't have a different, it has a different type of deal in there. Hmm. wonder how that's going to work out. Anyway. Uh, in order to get that chain off, you have to take these off. Uh, that one is the uh, exhaust side. This is the intake side, so I kind of got them sitting. You know, I put that one back on so I wouldn't get it mixed up. And uh, You have to take this off to get the uh, guide off. So you have to take this one off, pull the guide out. The guide is going to come out like over here, not over there, but it's going to come out over here. You pull it straight up out of there. And then this one right here, you're going to pull this up with the chain. And the chain, you got to kind of squeeze between some stuff down there and pull it straight up out. So that's that on that. So I'm getting ready to get this installed. You see, first, like I said, I got to take this uh, this gear off. And then also the back end right here. See those bolts there? Take that back end off. It installs onto this one here on this side. And then after that, i put it back on. All right, so I got everything in now. Have the chain in, got it on a mark. Mark here, mark there, and the other mark is at the bottom over there. So I have all those lined up, have all the uh, guides in here. Of course, this is for the balancing shaft and the water pump. All these are tightened down, so I'm getting ready to pull out this uh, 
little squirt of here. Okay, get this out if I can. I don't understand why the screw is so long. guy out. Pull him out of there and put a new one in. I don't think it's any dirty in anything, any trash, anything in there. I'm supposed to shoot the oil out the little side right there. See it? Yeah. So I have the new one from uh, GM. Also a new uh, crank gear here for the bottom. Here's the new one here. Put that in to make sure it's clean and clear. So let me get it out the bag so I can get this installed. Here's the new one. As you can see that hole looks kind of clear. Yep. So you can see right there where it goes. So that's where I'm going to put it in there. Get the screw started a little bit. There you go right there. Look at that. Yep. Get that in there. I started all of them with my hand as far as I can before I put any kind of tool on it. You don't want to strip these out, man. You do not want to strip this stuff out. Then that means you got to try to get the broken stuff out of there. That's not going to be nice at all. Trying to work that out of there. I mean, you know, I, I, I done broke stuff before, but you don't want to. All right, let me tighten this down. Okay. Have it in, it's tightened down. It's like a little oil squirter or something like that. Shoot on the chain. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to get the top guides on and chain on now. Here's all the guides and everything for the timing part of the chain, the uh, the uh, the cam cam gears, and also the crank. It's the last part of this uh, timing part I got to get lined up. So, like I said, here's the chain for it. Uh, these pieces here and the gear. So, I'm going to put all this on now. It's all lined up. So, I'm going to put on... Uh, the tensioner goes on this I side mean, first. The guy. I'm drop that down in there because it comes up out of this way here. So I'm gonna drop that down, get that bolt in back there, and then proceed on to getting this chain on, and that gear, and this gear. Put that on, with the chain hanging down through there, and then I move over to get this tensioner that's over here on. I mean the guy. And then everything else. Uh, and then I put this piece here on last on the top. Here it goes up here. So yep. All right, I already pulled the other gear off. Here's the new gear. This is the new gear, so I'm gonna pull this boat back out. I'm just sitting in there for right now. I'll just set it there. I'll put the new gear on now. It's a new one. There you go. It's the new gear. New gear is on. And you see this little mark on the chain there. Now that with that dot right there. That's gonna come around. Gotta get that to line up. Gotta turn it just a little bit there. 
so we got to turn it up there we got to turn it up there just a little bit Turn this just a little bit there. Get that to line up with that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this to, we're gonna get the other um, cam gear on at the top. And also this tensioner over, I mean the uh, guide over here on this side. And then uh, once I get that on, I'll make sure all these, that this one down here is on the spot and everything at the top is on the spot, all right?